Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Sometimes you might need the render in place function to export your tracks from your MIDI project to mix the audio files in another project. There could be different reasons why you'd prefer to render in place rather than mix down. In my case, the reason is that I use Vienna Ensemble Pro on a slave computer, but uh, I have a very huge template. Uh, this project is just a small portion of it uh, because I already deleted the, all the unused tracks uh, like I usually do when I finish the mockup and uh, I'm ready to export, uh, you know, to make the project uh, breathe and make the rendering process faster. So I basically have a very huge template, uh, but uh, my slave computer is not powerful enough uh, to enable all the stereo outputs in uh, VN Ensemble Pro and therefore to have all the instrument tracks uh, in Cubase uh, with their own uh, output signal. Indeed, as you can see in Cubase, I just have the instrumental families outputs coming from Vienna Ensemble Pro, so I can make uh, a premix, uh, but uh, I cannot uh, export uh, all the individual tracks uh, from this project. So what I have to do is to render in place. The problem with the render in place stuff is that you cannot choose your own name scheme like you can do when you do a mix down of the entire project or of the individual channels from the mix down window. So when you export the tracks, they will be placed in alphabetical order in the folder you choose. And when you have to reorder them again in the mixing project, if you have a session like this, it can take uh, quite a few time. So the best way to maintain this order of the tracks when you render in place is to write the number of the channel before the name of the instrument. Of course, it takes a while. So when you're ready to render in place, you can do this with just one click, with just one shortcut, thanks to the project logical editor. So basically you go here, on project logical editor, open the project logical editor box and all you have to do is to tell Cubase to put a number inside each MIDI or audio or whatever you want to track before the name of the track. So basically here I'm going to set the target as a media type is equal to audio or MIDI depending on the track you want. In my case it's just MIDI but if you use also audio tracks, you can just click on that, insert, it's already selected audio. But as you can see, you can basically set any type of media you want to be affected by this function. In this case, it's just MIDI. And then you have to set the action, which is name, prepend and renumber one. And click on apply and you can see that all your MIDI tracks are renumbered. I'm not sure why a lot of numbers are missing. For example, uh, as you can see, we have here 162 and then 192 and uh, here 941, 971 and then 1001 and so on. But uh, as you can see, the numbers are still in order from the lower to the higher. And this is uh, the most important thing because when you render in place uh, and to do that, uh, you just go to edit render in place. Uh, and uh, I suggest you to click on uh, render settings uh, so you can check uh, if uh, everything is, is fine and then uh, choose the destination folder and uh, other stuff and then click on render. When you do that, you will have all your tracks in order. And when you import them in the mixing project, you will have them one after the other. So all the brass, then all the percussion, the strings, all in order. And you don't have to move a single track to be close to the same of its family and so on. You can save a lot of time, in my opinion. Of course, it's not nice, I know, to see all these numbers before the name of the track, but you can still 
delete them uh, there is another option to do that in the project logical editor as well which is uh, the operation erase front character if you click on apply you see that uh, you can uh, cancel the first characters of course uh, if you have uh, one character on uh, some tracks uh, and four characters uh, on other tracks before the name, uh, keep in mind that uh, uh, it will erase all the first character every time you click on apply on the media type uh, you selected, in this case MIDI, but uh, you can do the same on the audio tracks in the mixing project, just uh, set audio as the parameter in the event target filters but uh, if uh, instead of uh, prepend uh, number uh, one uh, you set uh, number uh, 1000 and, and click on apply you see that uh, they will be renumbered from uh, 1000 so most likely every track will have four characters before the name and uh, you will be able to erase uh, the entire number without affecting the actual track name so once you finished uh, creating your preset uh, you can just uh, click here and uh, click on save changes as preset and then save your preset and uh, reload it uh, every time you want and finally you can go on uh, edit and uh, key commands uh, search the command you just created choose a key command assign and you can use this uh, key command on any project before the rendering place and uh, as you can see with just one click I have uh, renumbered all the tracks uh, from the lower to the highest So I hope this video will be useful to some of you and if you enjoyed this tutorial click on the like button, subscribe, I really appreciate your support and see you on the next video.